What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to be playing some of the hardest end games. I'm going to show you how I do it, and hopefully you can learn a few tricks to help you with end games yourself. And right here, we had died. Luckily, we were able to pick up a P90 on our respawn, and then that's one of the better guns to get. We were able to go ahead and take that guy out, and then we were able to get an AK from him. We accidentally dropped the P90, but luckily, we were still able to manage to get the kill, and then we picked back up our P90. We see this guy right here, and the zone is moving in, and it is not going to be in this building. So we got to move and fast. We don't want to jump off this high ground here, because then we We'll just be on the low ground where all the people in the building are going to have to go to. Instead, we're going to go to the other side of the building, and this allows us to be able to get on the tower. We wanted to make sure we check for the rope to make sure no one was coming up, and then we can jump, immediately hit our parachute, and get up here. We're using blast, so we shoot his grenade through the wall, and that makes this guy lit up, and you can shoot through the tents, and it's easy since he was lit up. We know there's a guy over here on this left side, and we are going to just go ahead and try to get him. We just waste a ton of bullets. And we realize that we're kind of in trouble right here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to have to end up going down. And then this will allow us to just wait here and then be able to come out when the circle wants to move again. And being blast, we can take advantage of seeing through walls and just kill the people. We're not going to finish our kill because we do have to rotate. And if we get trapped inside these walls, that is very bad. But we definitely know there's someone up in that tower. I actually thought that was Jet's old. It was actually a car he summoned. But we shoot that through the floor of the tower. It goes up and hits him. And then he's having to go out really fast. And he is in a very bad spot. He didn't really get to choose to leave because of the grenade. So he just had to go. And right here is the last guy. And he's invisible. And I don't have very much ammo. But luckily we hit every single bullet right at the end to get the win. And the next one, same deal where we drop in. I thought I had money and I did not. So I have a pistol and so I tried to swap it out for what I could. And I just have a low ammo, low AR. And so we're going to try to separate this guy from his team. He wanted to move forward, but he couldn't the second he saw the flames. And that allowed us to get an MP5, which is definitely going to help. And right here, we're just going to go ahead, get all of our health back, get all of our guns reloaded and try to go forward. But we're kind of forced forward with everyone else because of the wall. Let's Luckily, we get that guy down, and then we have a low power moment. That is so, so stupid, and, like, it always happens to me at the worst times. It's a 10%, so, yeah, I already got hit by a 20%, so it's my fault. But either way, we do recover quite well, and then we get the kill there, and now we're just going to wait for his teammate. He kind of knew I was there waiting for him. Luckily for me, I get the overkill anyway and just wipe his team. And then right here, I summon my teammate. He immediately dies, so I regret that. And then the other teammate, uh, yeah, he quit. So that's great. And then right here, I know I am all alone, so I have to kill this guy. And he's an annoying movement Emma. Luckily, I was able to get all the bullets on him. And as soon as we kill him, we run into the storm to get some money so we can get one of our terrible teammates back. I don't know which one, and I don't really care because they're kind of the same. And at least we have, like, some fodder i guess i don't know because the biggest thing is they also have no weapon no buy station to get a weapon from so i'm not expecting much from them even if they were good but luckily they do actually provide a distraction allowing me for the double kill and then i'm able to give them some guns so you know it works out and then right here i am just shy 400 dollars to be able to get the next teammate but there's only one guy left so we just have to rush him and that's all i'm worried about luckily for me he wanted to fight and he also had no choice because the zone was coming in and there's flames right there he was kind of screwed that that sucked for him but luckily we did make it work this one is way different from the first two because i was on an eight kill streak i didn't actually have to drop in and i figure it's kind of an end game because of the fact that there's 13 people pretty much anything under 15 people i consider the end game uh yeah i get like 20 kills on these 13 people don't ask how um but yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> it was the craziest thing ever. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Right here, we are using a double AR setup because I'm an idiot, especially since one of those is the M4, which wastes bullets like crazy. But we do have a short range uh, AR-97, so, you know, that uses less bullets. The problem is, if you use a lot of the M4, then your uh, short range gun also doesn't have bullets. So, you know, it's a choice. Wouldn't recommend it, but you know what? It actually worked out so great that maybe I would. So right here, we see the footsteps. He thinks we're coming up the steps, but nope, we're jumping up the railing. And that really sucks for him. And then his smoke forces me to be right here. I get sniped. And that sucks for me. You know, karmic justice, I guess. Rough. But we have a self-res, so no big deal. Then we throw our smoke so we can heal. Luckily for me, they don't want to fight because it'll just alert everyone to our presence. So I kind of get the benefit of full health. And then I get to just go up there and kill them because they don't know where I am, but I know exactly where they are. So we go ahead, get that. And then I really want to kill that sniper, but I don't know exactly where he is. And I'm afraid he's going to snipe me again. And then I think this is that guy. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Screw you, sniper man. Ha, I win. Yeah, it wasn't a sniper. <laughs> Rough. Luckily, I'm going to go ahead, launch myself, hit the parachute, and um, not not get it. But, you know, we have 21 kills, 6 people left, and this is where the end game gets really crazy. So, we come back in. Luckily, this time, we actually do have money, and so we're going to buy 2 ARs again, because I'm like that. And then we go ahead and know exactly where the people are, because they kind of haven't moved, and they're fighting each other. Easy mode. But I didn't know he was there. So rough. We do turn around and immediately kill him. And that is why I'm using this combo. Because I was doing an M4 video. And then I also just like love the short range AR-97. Because you can two shot people with it. You can do it no scope. You can scope. It's so great. I love that gun so much. Right there we do go ahead and just destroy that guy with the M4. And then this guy we just pre-aim. And oh my god he dies so fast. It's crazy. Luckily we get him and now there aren't that many people left the respawners are down and we are able to go for it luckily we actually let some of them respawn which helps us be able to get more kills so right here we know this is one of the two guys left we're gonna just go in and hit him with that air 97 with a slide because we have the hit fire version easy pc and now 27th kill i wanted to kill him with the m4 which is such a dumb idea luckily i do end up switching to the air 97 getting eight 8,000 damage and 27 kills. This one, we are on the side of a mountain. Luckily, we do get that guy down. And then our team roll dies. Even the guy that I had already rezzed by the time I got into this building, they, they just die. It was me just running around for like 45 seconds trying not to die while, while they died. Yeah, it's rough. So right here, we do go ahead and kill that guy. And we get the double kill. And that gives us enough to res our teammate. By the way, both of my teammates this game weren't useless. One of them did disconnect in like the very beginning, which sucks. So we had a 3v4, but you know, we made it work right there. We make sure that guy dies and can't get back up. And then we go ahead and get that one, get the double right there. And then we know that there's at least one or two here, and we just need to go ahead and finish these kills. We don't want any self resers And if they can keep their team alive long enough to be able to respawn, it's just a pain in the butt. So we just got to make sure we kill them all. And then we just see the footsteps of the guy that came from the top of the building. Easy as can be, and we go ahead and navigate it well. A big part of navigating these end games is just making sure you don't put yourself in a bad spot. So you don't want to be in this situation. But if you are on a late rotate, this is the thing that will help you. And this one right here, we are going to go ahead and have a gun that can hit fire because that does help you a lot. It helps you run and gun. And then you also need to finish your kills and loot sometimes to be able to res your teammates. I only got enough to res one. I thought I could do two. But luckily, I did get out of the zone and right there we got like four kills we had like no kills before this we were having a rough game and our teammates were not good it, they never turned good by the way it, it just was a continuous uh lapse in judgment on their part at all times <laughs> the guy i rezzed already died by the way <laughs> 
Dude, that's so demoralizing. You're as a guy, and he dies like the second he hits the ground. Like, what is that? Either way, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy out right here. We notice that there's another guy hitting us from the zone. So easiest kill of my life. Thank you for that. And then we do want to make sure that we finish it because remember, even though it's teams, they can self res. So it's just not an automatic thing like it is in solo. But you still got to make sure that you're paying attention, especially late game, because if it's the last guy alive and you wait to get the kill, he could just have his teammates res naturally just because he needed a few seconds and that self res gave him that time. So it is something to look out for right there. We do go ahead and get the kill on the edge and then we finish the kill from before for our teammate. And from here, it's a 3v1, which is easy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. And have a great day. Unlike that guy.